Hello and welcome back. In today's lesson, we will be learning how to count from 1 to 10 in Arabic. This was a tricky lesson because just like the United States, there is not one single language that is spoken in the entire country of Morocco. Depending on where you are located, you may speak a different version of the same language. Just like here in the United States, where many languages are spoken in different areas, there are different dialects spoken within the country. For this lesson, we will stick with the standard form of Arabic to learn how to count from 1 to 10. In addition to this, you may hear some different languages spoken within the country of Morocco, depending on where you're visiting. For example, if you go into the Atlas Mountains or the rural areas of the country, you may encounter a language called Amazigh or Berber, as many people refer to it. This is a native dialect. However, if you visit a big city like Casablanca, you may encounter many French speakers. The French language was influenced by the inhabitants of the country in previous years. And even in the northern part of the country, you may see that Spanish has a heavy influence in the country as well. So, sit back and enjoy as we learn a little bit more about Moroccan Arabic or Derija. 1. Wahid Wahid One star The red background of Morocco's national flag represents strength and bravery. The green star, which was added in 1915, is known as the Seal of Solomon. This type of star has often been used as a religious symbol. 2. Ithnan Ithnan Two goats You may also hear the word juge juge used for the number two. Have you ever seen a goat in a tree? Moroccan goats love the fruit of argan trees so much that they climb up in the tree's thick branches to reach the tasty treats. Argan trees only grow in the southwest region of Morocco. Argan oil, which comes from a nut inside the fruit, is used in cosmetics, as a dipping sauce, and as a folk medicine. We will learn more about these little goats later in another lesson. Taleta. Taleta. Three stripes. The Amazigh people, called Berbers, are the original native inhabitants of Morocco. The flag of the Amazigh people contains three stripes of blue on the top, green in the center, and yellow at the bottom. The red figure in the center is the Amazigh alphabet letter that symbolizes freedom. Arba. Arba. Four camels. Camels have unique adaptations that help them survive in the desert. Their wide, flat feet keep them from sinking in the sand. They also have three sets of eyelids and two sets of eyelashes that keep sand out of their eyes. Camels can go for long periods without water, and when they do drink, they can hold 40 gallons, enough to fill a bathtub. Humsa, humsa, five hides. Moroccan tanneries use ancient methods to turn goat, cow, sheep, and camel hides into leather. The world's oldest tannery is located in the city of Fez. This tannery has used the same methods to produce leather for almost 1,000 years. Sita. Sita. Six date palms. Date palms have been cultivated for their sweet, sticky fruits for thousands of years. Their deep roots can reach underground water sources and they are one of the few trees that grow in the dry Sahara Desert. Saba. Saba. Seven tagine pots. Ooh, tagine. Tagine is a stew cooked in a special clay pot that has a tall cone-shaped lid. This is a delicious dish. If you ever get a chance to try a Moroccan tagine, I highly recommend it. The menu. The menu. 
eight indigo flowers. Dye made from indigo leaves was once the most popular dye in the world, and it's still used in many parts of Morocco. Although the flowers are purple, the leaves produce a bright blue dye. Tissa, Tissa, nine tiles. Moroccan tiles, which are also called zalij tiles, are beautiful works of art that feature geometric shapes. The tiles are made by hand using natural clays and they are painted to create colorful mosaic design. Ashura, Ashura, 10 babouches. Moroccan marketplaces or souks are filled with pairs of colorful leather slippers called babouches. In 1689, a law was passed that only Muslims could wear yellow babouches, and many Moroccan Muslims still carry on that tradition today. Great job! Let's try putting them all together now. In your Global Studies books, you should find a page that looks like this. These numbers should help you be able to count from 1 to 10 in Moroccan Arabic. Alright, here we go. Wahid, Juj, Talata, Arba, Khamsa, Sita, Saba, Temenia, Tisa, Ashara. How did you do? Just like many of the students at Ridgeview that are just learning this new language, you may not be able to get the pronunciation just right on your first try or even your second try, but give it your best shot and see what you can do. Try to count from one to 10 in Arabic. Now, keep in mind that Miss Mick is not a native Arabic speaker. However, I do try and I am learning. It is such a beautiful language. Below this link, you will see a link to an Arabic native speaker, which might be a little bit easier for you to hear and understand. Pause the video often and try to repeat the words that the person is saying. This may help you learn to count from 1 to 10 in Arabic a little bit faster. Don't forget to join us next week as new content will drop on Mondays as we learn about a new topic in our study of Morocco. Goodbye, everybody.